Good afternoon, Zachariah Jackson, Bassa News. I'm here in East Orange, where I'm at a center where they build up the moral character of human beings. I hope I'm not phrasing that wrong. No, absolutely not. And you know, we talk about a whole lot. We talk about a whole lot in the inner cities, we talk about a whole lot in the country. But there hasn't been a bill passed that said, that actually stated, building one's moral character. We have a lot of social programs, and perhaps maybe if we, if the uh, government went on stage and there was a bill passed, as the infrastructure bill is passed, as uh, 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 funding the police bill is passed, maybe if we passed a bill that actually said, building one's moral character up, maybe we will have less problems in society. I'm here with Mr. Thomas Johnson. Yes. All right, Mr. Johnson, explain it to the people exactly what is it that you guys do here. Well, this is Urban Life Counseling Center. Uh, this this uh, agency had been in existence since 2003. Mm -hmm. uh, and we deal with uh, addiction services and, mm -hmm. and, and mental health. Uh, I, we, we, we just happen to try to uh, get people, yeah, put people's lives back in, on track, uh, you know, uh, just to kind of look at the devastation that uh, uh, crime and addiction has caused, uh, has devastated the city and, 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 and uh, tore people's lives apart. And uh, so we just here just trying to rebuild and uh, put back pieces uh, to people's lives that has been destroyed over, over, over a period of time. And, and, and we kind of like a one stop, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know we, we have a lot of different services that we provide here. Not only do we provide mental health and addiction services, we also uh, provide uh, uh, psychological and psychiatric evaluations mm -hmm. uh, from our, our, our licensed uh, 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 MD uh, psychiatrist. And uh, we also do uh, uh, a lot of other different group services like uh, parent groups, uh, individuals. Uh, anger management, you know, we do uh, work with our, you know, we, we as a, uh, as an agency work with adolescents, you know, uh, so we, we just here just trying to uh, help restructure uh, people's lives that, that we see have been torn apart. Uh, this agency <clears throat> uh, is sort of like the, the last stop that people, uh, when people have given up all hope, you know, going to other places and trying to figure out things on their own, they seek us out and, and we are, uh, the problem solvers that we you know we, 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 we look at exactly what we, we, we assess the, the, the problems and we and we go after uh, the, the problem with, you know, with vengeance. I mean we just want to make sure that you know everything is uh, uh, that we do is, you know to try to help make that person a, a success in, in, in you know with their life again. Is there a time frame? Do you if a client come in, do you <coughs> give them a month or give them a, a six months? How long do you take before? You know, or do you guys ever give up? No, I mean we never give up, but I mean they, they, uh, everything runs in, in a time frame. I mm -hmm. mean, it, you know, it, it's it's like whatever program they come in because each program has a different time frame. It's like anger management, uh, that's twelve weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, domestic violence that's twenty six weeks. Okay. Uh, we have uh, we have we, uh, we have a uh, uh, outpatient which is OP. Uh, that's that's uh, that's uh, sixteen weeks uh, at least. Then we have. Uh, uh, IOP, that's anywhere from four to six months, then we have partial care. IOP, now what is that's, IOP? That's intensive outpatient program, that's all substance abuse. Okay. okay. Even, the, even the OP, that's, that's a, a outpatient, that's mm -hmm. substance abuse. And we also have PC, which is our partial care, and that's anywhere from 69 months. Okay. And that's five days a week. Uh, the, 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 the IOP is three days a week, three hours a day. The OP is uh, one hour, uh, three hours a day, uh, one day a week. I know substance abuse, I think, um, under, um, what was it, Governor um, Christie, okay. I think, I think he, that they said the substance abuse was a disease, that they category as a disease. Right. Now, you know, normally we are, you know, from the people that don't really know much about this, when we say disease, we're talking about cancer. We're talking about something that happens. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> although we categorize it as a disease, do we categorize it as a disease that that is developed after you go do it, or or how is it? 
Well, actually, or has it always been in your heart. Well, I, well, actually, if, if, we, if we talk about uh, alcoholism, I mm -hmm. mean, I mean, it, I mean, I mean, we could debate that issue mm -hmm. all day long. I mean, I, I truly believe that, that alcoholism is is, 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 uh, is a disease, uh, disease, disease. of addiction. I, I believe it's genetically linked. Mm -hmm. it, uh, you know, I, I believe that it's passed down from from one generation to the other. I mean, it, it don't catch every generation, but right. it's, it's it skips generations. Okay. Uh, I, I don't look at uh, uh, alcoholism or uh, any different than I look at someone that has cancer right. or, or, or TB or di uh, diabetes. I mean, it's still a disease that has to be treated. treated. Okay. I mean, it's like <clears throat> it's like a person that has uh, that's a, that's a diabetic. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just that's genetically linked. It's genetic you know, uh, that people that have uh, that has a. Uh, 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 Alzheimer's or dementia, you know, we can say that's genetically linked. Yes, yes. uh, and, and so we know those 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 uh, diseases are, uh, are not curable. Right. The only thing you can do is try to arrest them if you catch them early enough. But if you sure. don't catch them early enough, of course, then the, the, the end result is death. In terms of alcoholism, right? That I guess that's probably the hardest thing for someone to to overcome because of the fact that it's so easy to get alcohol. Absolutely, absolutely. It, it, I mean, it's. It's, it's so accessible, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, like I said, some people don't believe in, in uh, that that they, they have an addiction with, with alcoholism. I mean, you know, they say, well, it's, it's legal. I mean, why right. can't I do it? I mean, but you have to look at everything that comes with it, though. That's right. Okay. You know, uh, so uh, it, it is it is a, a disease. I, I, I truly believe that it is, and, and that's what I, I teach. What, what about, you know, when I grew up, uh, I... Um when I start working in the airport, I, I come across a lot of people that are from different um, ethnic groups in the white communities. And a lot of them believed in uh, wine with dinner, you know. And, and I debated a guy about that. I mm -hmm. said, well, wine with dinner, you know, after a while you become an alcoholic. He said, well, the doctor said, right, <laughs> he said, the doctor said, uh, 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 red wine with dinner is good for you, mm. right? So I, I asked him, I said, well, uh, maybe the doctor got got a, a stock in the wine. <laughs> I said, maybe the doctor got stock in the wine. Mm -mm. Because if you drink wine every day, or Jesus drink wine, I said, well, that wine Jesus drink is like Welch's grape juice. <laughs> right? I said, well, you drink wine every day today, you gonna be an alcoholic? What, 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 uh, uh, how do you how do you uh, respond to that? Well, I mean, uh, I, I I think that <clears throat> it has a lot to do with your, uh, with what, what, what what they call predisposition. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, and like I said earlier, uh, uh, I, I truly believe that alcoholism is is genetically linked. Mm -hmm. But uh, just because your father or your mom may be an alcoholic doesn't necessarily mean you may be an alcoholic. Sure, sure. But it it, it, it has other components that's built in. With that, you know, to help determine you to become that. I mean, your environment, sure. you know, your, your who you socialize with, the place that you go, the mm -hmm. things that you do. I mean, all that can, uh, factors into if you if you're doing this this thing on uh, every, you know on a regular or, or every so often, it, it it could mix in and become uh, become a habit. Sure, sure. You know, sure. It, uh, so, so if you have that drink, I want to go back to that drink every day, that wine drink every day. It it it, it could. It, it, it could, I mean, every day is a, is a long time. It, it, it's a long time, absolutely. absolutely. Every day, it, it, Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, absolutely it is. You know, uh, every day for 15 years or 20 years. <laughs> but but I, I, just, I just really think that, you know, drinking, uh, 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 I'm, see, a lot of people look at wine as, uh, as, as alcohol. Right. You know, I, I debated that issue a long time. You know, it's, it's, only, it's, only, it's only wine. Yeah, but wine is alcohol because yeah. they, they use something the same. Right, because uh, uh, it's fermented, right? right? It's fermented. It's fermented, yeah, absolutely. Right? So, so yeah. I mean, it, it's the same thing. It's, you know, it, it's just maybe made, made, made in a different way of sure. uh, add something different to it. But it's all fermented. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I just I really think that uh, even drinking one one glass of uh, red wine every day is, is you know, is, yeah, that's uh, what they is, said. Is, red wine, right? Yeah. It's, it's not it's not good for you. I mean, you know, it's funny because I, I actually listened to this commercial, in, you know, when, when the uh, American Surgeon General. Mm -hmm. And he's always saying, ah, you know, you, you know, one glass of red wine every day is good mm -hmm. for you, you know. But I, I don't ever recall him saying, well, but that's it's not good for a person that has has an addiction problem. Sure, right? sure, sure. Yeah. Or well, could it create addiction? Well, it could create right, addiction right, problem. Right. Absolutely. Because a lot of things come from 
you know, creating. I was talking the other day about Moses going to the scriptures. I said, you know, Moses didn't get his insecurity from God. When God wanted him to do something, he was very insecure and in being able to execute it. Uh, Moses got his insecurity when he first raised up and beat the Egyptian up and killed him. Mm -hmm. And his Hebrew brothers told him the next day, who are you to judge over us? So they <laughs> told right, him. Right, absolutely. So it came from that line. So time God got to Moses and everything, you know, and told him what I need you to do, you know, he was very insecure. So they're not going <laughs> to listen to me. You know, my speech is slow or whatever, you know. So he had to get Aaron to help him. But uh, that can be a line towards absolutely. becoming uh, actual alcoholic absolutely. or whatever. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. It can be. Absolutely. And what about the unlegal drugs like, uh, 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 you know, heroin and things like that and this uh, new thing that, well, I don't know how I knew it. Fentanyl. Fentanyl. Now, what, can you explain to me, what, what is fentanyl? Well, fentanyl is, is, is just another chemical that, that they put in, in, in uh, whatever drug that the person is using. It, you know, it, it's, a chemical, they, it's, it's a chemical. Right, it's a chemical. They, okay. they, 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 can, they make it right inside the house. They, they oh, okay, it. okay, it, okay. It, okay. It, you know, it, it's stuff that you can probably go to uh, uh, Home Depot and buy and places like that and, and mix it. Mix and, it up. Yeah, and, so yeah. what would fentanyl be like in a Home Depot? What is it wax? Is it is it shellac or what 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 would Well I mean it's 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 it's, it's all different types of chemicals that, that you can get that, that mix it up to make that. Okay. You know, uh it's just like, you know, when people uh put, making meth, mm -hmm. you know, it, you go go right to the Home Depot or uh, 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 Lowe's or wherever and, and buy a hardware store and buy all these chemicals and, and mix them mix together, them up and mix okay. them up and they know what kind of chemicals oh, they, they, they know mix. exactly they, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, they, they, yeah. they street pharmacists the street pharmacists okay so okay. they know, they know so this like, isn't something like where heroin or, or, or actually cocaine would come from a plant and all that right there this is more chemicals right this is more and chemicals. they mix it in with that right absolutely stretch it out to make it so in other words to be a filler right Absolutely. Okay. I mean, not not only do they, do they, do they use that. I mean, just just look back. I mean, uh, uh, when they when they, a lot of people was dying from it, that's a lot of people still dying still from dying it. From, yes. uh, you know, they, they was cutting it up with, with rat poison and, and and all other kind of you know anything uh, that can anything spark they, it. They, they spark it. They make okay. them get that get that high, but they 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 just didn't care. I mean, they right. was, they their business was it was the sell. They, they didn't, didn't care. care what the end results were. So, wow. you know, for you. Wow. So that's what they're fitting on, and then. Also, you have to be careful with the pharmaceutical. Do you guys deal with people that's that's uh, 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 got caught on pharmaceutical drugs, like back pain drugs and things of that nature? Uh, we have we, we have we have read across a, a few of those uh, that came to us and said, well, you know, uh, you know, I, I broke my leg or whatever the case may be, and you know, uh, uh, the doctor gave me. Uh, Percocets of painkillers for, yeah, for, yeah, X for, right, for, okay. for X amount of time, and then once that ran out, you know, I, I, I didn't have the money. He didn't want to uh, refill the prescription, so I, I, I went out and started using it. Right, so, right. something like okay. that. Oh, so, you, know? you use something else? Right, absolutely. Okay, okay, wow. Absolutely. That's what that, it's just a substitute. Right, oh, okay, wow. Yep, it's a substitute. So that can blow out of, out of hand. Oh, too. yeah, that, I mean, that, that can blow, blow, out, can blow out big time. Wow, wow absolutely, wow, big time. Wow. Now, do you have families that come in together or, you know, that, you know, husband and wife and maybe even today, you know, families with children that uses the drugs and things like that? Well, I mean, normally uh, I, I work with a lot of families that, you know, and, and they all they come in for all different reasons. Mm -hmm. I mean, most, most of this, you know, it's not so much drugs all the time, but uh, as it is, uh, it could be uh, alcoholism. Okay. You know, uh, that, that alcoholism is bigger than drugs. Yeah, it because is. it's cheaper. Right, it's cheaper. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's it's very, plentiful, very accessible, yes, plentiful. Well. I mean, you know, you know, I don't think you ever run out of alcohol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, too many too many liquor stores on every corner. You ain't got to dodge no police officers to get no alcohol. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's right, too right. many it's too many uh, liquor stores. So, uh, but I, you know, most of my, you know, I, I just run into a lot of problems with you know with families, you know, dealing with other issues. Mm -hmm. um, not so much of the drugs, but I mean, it's just like a lot of family issues. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now, when, in terms of alcohol, um, helping someone, I guess, get off of alcohol, or is that the term? Um, what's the time frame for that? Is that the same as uh, legal drugs? Well, I mean, uh, when you say get off, yeah. Uh, you know, like kick the habit. 
Well, it, it all depends on, 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 on exactly where they are. Okay. I mean, they can come in here, uh, and sometimes, you know, we can treat them here, uh, you know, by, by having them come to our, our program. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we have a program during the day from 9 to 12, and I mean, 9 to 12, 15, then we have one from 6 to 9, 15 okay. in the evenings. Uh, uh, and just say they come to our program, I mean, sometimes we can help them here. But sometimes, you know, uh, it, it depends on how far how far advanced they are with that addiction. Sometimes we have to tell them, listen, let, let's get you into an a inpatient program okay. Uh, okay. for maybe five days or seven days, ten days. So it can dry out. Days, yeah. Okay. And then come back to us and do the outpatient part. Okay. Because right now, you know, you, you know, you, you really need to kind of go in and right. uh, get kind of clean up and then come back to us. Confine yourself. Confine right. yourself. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yes, 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 and then yes. come back to us. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And ha have you had many success stories? Oh, we have, we have, we have uh, uh, quite a few uh, people that have come to us, you know, and had to, uh, we treated here, and some we had to send out to uh, to other other facilities mm -hmm. and, uh, to get uh, cleaned up, and then come back to us, and they they, they would be able to go ahead and complete the program and, and become very successful. Wow, mm -hmm. wow, wow! And is it uh, when they when they come back or when they uh, are able to control that behavior? Uh, do they always talk about it? Is it? Do they need to keep reminding themselves? Do they need to <coughs> continue to, you know, get uh, support, mental oh, yeah. support, oh, yeah. things they, like they, that? I, I mean, I always recommend anyone that that's, that's, uh, that's that has this uh, problem with their uh, an addiction. Uh, recovery is so important. Yes. You know, uh, well, and many just, things. You know, many things. Um, not not just addiction. Not just addiction. But, I mean, no more. And, and, and I talk about that all the time. Uh, I say food. Uh, recovery, uh, uh, recovery. Walking, exercise, you need recovery. recovery. You need recovery, you know. Uh, it, 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 the trick part sometimes is that, you know, you people say, I, I, I fully recover, so I don't need this. I, well, okay, well, maybe, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I, I, I'm not going to say you don't, you know, that you don't. But uh, uh, I say, you know, the process is, is recovery, right. not recovered. You know, because when you, when you, when you, you know, when you say, I, I, I've totally recovered, I don't need to go to meetings anymore, I don't need to sponsor, I don't need a home group, I don't need to, you know, I don't need AA or NA and that, and that stuff, I'm fully recovered, I, I'm never going to drink again. I said, well, you know, never say never. Mm -hmm. I said, because you never know what's going to happen. That's right. That, That's can, right. that, that, can, that can pull you back pull in. Right back in. I, I say, but it, it, it's just, it's a one day at a time process. Even, you know, people that got multiple, multiple years, they got it by one day at a time. That's right. So I said, don't uh, so don't ever get fooled by your addiction because your addiction is very powerful, kind of badly, and yeah. insidious, and it's more powerful than you are. That's right. I say it, it's it's never about I can do it by myself. I said we can do it, we but can do I it. can't do it. That's right. the only thing I can do is is to get high by myself. I don't need anybody to help me do that. That's right. I said, but we can we can fight this thing together. Together, yes. I said, yes. but left alone, your addiction will, will swallow you up. So we need a village. Right. We need a village to keep this thing. Ab order. Absolutely. And it's a uh, it's a great thing that that you, what you guys are doing here. Thank you, sir. And uh, I'm honored to be able to sit here and interview you because uh, so many folk need uh, to lift their morals up. Absolutely. Know? And uh, again, I, I'm pressing, and somehow I'm gonna try to get that bill passed somewhere down the line. That we need a more well, if, more, I, if I can be if I can be any assistance, let's let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying I'm, to figure I'm, out how, how, how to do that. Thank you, I appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir. Because I think that that's something that's happening all through the nation, whether it's shootings or, or gangs or whatever. That we need to let people know that you know you need to keep your moral character up. Absolutely. You know, and stuff like you need to. If you're running in the Olympics, we say well, you need to run fast. Right. You need to run fast. That's right. Keep keep it running. Yeah, you know. You know. You know. Absolutely. We, we, we really need that because that's something that's missing in our society. So, is there anything else you would like to share with uh, the community at this point? Um, not not nothing much. Uh, not much more other than uh, you know we just here to serve the the uh, the community in uh, in 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 the capacity, not just East Orange, but. You know, Essex County. Essex County. You know, and uh, you know, uh, or, or out of out of county. So anyone can come. Anyone in, can right? come. Anyone can come. I mean, you know, we we you know we we accept uh, most major insurances. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, Medicaid and, and things on that line. And uh, if not, then uh, we we work out. You know, we have a slide skill fee that we work out. Sure, sure, you know, sure. We, we we try not to let anybody uh, walk away. You know, uh, because we know if they come here, they come here because they need yes, they need help. So you're you not know, letting them walk away empty-handed. Uh, absolutely. I mean, and we we have also you know this you know this some uh, uh, pro bono 
they go oh, sure, sure. from time to time, you know. Sure. Um, it, 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 that's just, it's my passion. That's it, right. it, it, That's what I do. Right, right, right. You know, right. Build the character up. Build it up. Absolutely. Build it up. Amen. You know, yes. and so I, yeah. I, I, uh, I, I don't, uh, I try not to let anyone leave, uh, you know, without getting some type of help. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I, I read a book years ago called Talking Therapy. It's so important. Mm. Talking therapy. Talking therapy. Yes, yes. And and that's part of some of the stuff that you guys do, which is Oh, yeah, thing. absolutely. You know, people need that, you know. You know, it's, I think it goes back, uh, since it's Black History Month, I'll dig back into this, you know, when during the uh, Jim Crow law, when uh, our access to facilities and things was limited, mm. we had places like the church or the mosque or whatever where we can go to build our character. Right, right. And they built us up so much <laughs> that we were able to function. Absolutely. absolutely. And that's <laughs> what we do. That's exactly what you do. Absolutely. Exactly. That's exactly what we do. We just, we just follow, you know, just follow that, you know. What a professional touch to it, right. guys. Because you guys have studied and learned how absolutely. to make this thing happen. Absolutely, absolutely. It's not coming out of uh, out of a, a hat. Absolutely, yeah, a right, absolutely. Right. But it's it's no it's no magic to it. There's though. no magic. You know, I tell people all the time, man. If I if I had if I had this magic wand, I could just touch that's it. That's right. That's right. And and, and it make it go away. But I said no. You, you, I say you know it's really about you got to you, you just can't talk to talk. You got to walk. You got to walk the walk. You yes. got to do both of them simultaneously. That's right. That's right. Okay, one won't work without the other. You got to chew bubble gum walk at the same time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we end on that. We chew bubble gum and we walk, we'll walk at, at the same, same time. time. You know? Again, this is Zachariah Jackson, Bassa News, and introduce yourself. My name is Thomas Johnson. I'm the president, CEO, and founder of Urban Life Counseling Center. And how could they get in contact? Uh, you can reach us by uh, our phone number is nine seven three. Six seven 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 zero five three, and we and someone's here all, all the time. Uh, they take your calls, and don't don't feel ashamed that you know if something's going on with you that that you can't call us and talk to us and uh, for a uh, consult and you know come in and we we would definitely do our very best to help you. But you have to put your work in too, though. All right, again, Zachariah Jackson, Bassett News. Good evening. Bye bye.